Hi everyone, welcome to Open Awards TV and happy National Youth Work Week. Woohoo! Today at Open Awards we're celebrating um, National Youth Work Week and I am joined by the wonderful Julie Goodwin from our business development team to talk us through our youth work qualification and to basically celebrate all things youth work. So hi Julie, how are you? Hi, I'm very well. Thank you Rachel for inviting me along and uh, happy National Youth Work Week, everybody. Well done. Yay. Yeah, good stuff. So, Julie, I've just got a few questions for you today, if that's OK. Um, so your first question is, can you tell us a little bit about the Youth Work qualification that we've got here at Open Awards? I certainly can. Uh, just very briefly, we uh, operate a level two and a level three qualification in uh, youth work. Now, the level two comes in an award and certificate size, so they're nice and handy to deliver. Now, the level two is a youth work principles qualification. OK, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty of raising those standards that we need with our youth work uh, teams. Now, at level three, as we go forward to level three and we move up that next level, we run this in a certificate length and a diploma length. Now, we're expanding our knowledge here, so it's youth work practice at this level. So we had principles at level two and practice at level three. Fab. So the certificates and diplomas, am I right in saying that they're a little bit of a longer course? They are. They're a bit of a longer course. And what's exciting, I think, about both of them is this element of practical work in there. This element of getting you rolling your sleeves up and getting in there and doing some youth work practice. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's really good experience, isn't it, for it learners? Is. Well. It, make, it makes it come alive a bit more, the qualification. It's good to learn about There's some lovely theoretical things in there, which we need um, um, to put that lovely bedrock of knowledge down for those who are going to be working within the youth sector. But I think there's nothing like it is a personal attachment to somebody. It's a personal relationship with a young person. So to have that work uh, you, you know that practice in there is going to be key I think for um, not just for the qualification but inspiring the learner uh, to really want to get the course finished and get the qualification. Yeah definitely fab thank you Julie. So um, I know that when you created this qualification you collaborated with the National Youth Agency is that right? It's the National Youth Association. Um, now, the National Youth Association, we're only being briefed today, but they did a huge amount of work and lobbying to really raise the profile of youth work within the country, which was getting considerably forgotten. So thank you to the NYA for all of that fantastic work and the lobbying that you've done with the House of Lords. And they brought that forward into this development. So the actual development of the qualification involved the National Youth Association, of England and Wales. Uh, oh. So they were both involved in that. So we were looking at different aspects of it. And um, plus the fact they brought in a whole raft of um, youth work uh, experts to help with that. Alongside that, as part of a consortium, we work with other national awarding bodies. So actually everybody has contributed experts and expertise in drawing up this qualification that's fit for purpose for the sector. That's amazing. That's brilliant. It's lovely to have that input from different stakeholders, isn't it? It was got it right then. Yeah, amazing. You know, and we've got some uh, amazing people that have been involved in the project um, all the way through, and it's an ongoing thing because we form a bubble of quality so that we review the qualification, we make sure it's in line. We have actually brought in some new units after the pandemic regarding isolation for young people, which has been a big issue coming out of, well, during the pandemic and just in this, I think we're out of pandemic or coming out of pandemic, it's really been key. So you can see the, the qualification is not just static, we're listening and looking and seeing where we can add in to uh, reflect the times that we live in and support young people. Yeah, that's brilliant. So it makes it really, really relevant then, doesn't it? So fab. So, Julie, the qualifications that you're talking about today, the different levels and different sizes of qualities, certificates, diplomas, um, from a learner's perspective, why would you do that qualification and what can you get at the end of it? So, you know, what jobs, progression, that type of thing? 
Yeah, we, really for the level two, you're looking at what you'll be somewhere in assisting in a youth work setting. Yeah. Um, so uh, don't worry that you'd have to run everything uh, because a level two, you're looking at how you assist. So you would be working alongside a qualified youth worker that might be in a youth setting, sort of like a community setting, but it could be in a religious setting, a healthcare setting. They, they are really contextualised. So it's a nice first level entry job into the youth work sector that you could be uh, applying for. Yeah, really. If you're looking at the level three, I think what's really important with the level three is it's recognised. These are all recognised by the NYA, the National Youth Association. Now they have a special uh, council, a joint national council that really scrutinise um, qualifications. Now these qualifications, if you're taking them, they're recognised. So if you want to go on and become a fully qualified youth worker, which is a level six, these qualifications really, really count towards that. So uh, so at level three, therefore, you might be going on and doing a bit more responsibility, but still working with a youth worker, but you might be leading on certain aspects of youth work. So I think these are really key. And also as well, I think for employers to know that you've got this certificate and it sets a benchmark so they can have confidence, not only um, you can have confidence as a learner in what you've studied, but they can have confidence in the qualification as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So Julie, we've talked about the learners and their progression. Um, now from pro a provider's perspective, that was a mouthful to say, <laughs> from a <laughs> provider's perspective, and um, who who can deliver this qualification then? Who does deliver this qualification? Who do you know? Who have you worked with in the past? That those type of things. And um, just in case there's any providers out there listening to this who are interested. Lovely. Um, I think what's really key and what's been different about the qualification is that we've moved this. Now, this is a key aspect. We've moved this it used to be in social and healthcare, yeah. So it was in a different sector. And we've moved this into teaching and learning. So it's it gets a different kind of um, kudos for learners. But for our providers, um, we do need to look at um, to make sure that if you want to deliver the qualification, which we'd love you to do, aside from having the fantastic youth work experience, that you've got somebody on the staff or that you can employ somebody who is actually at a level six in yeah. terms of qualifications a lot of the units because don't forget we've done this massive national drive to drive up the standards to really spotlight and headline the fantastic work that the youth work sector does and um, so we've had to uh, put alongside that that we've took that benchmark up so yeah you would need to have somebody on the staff who's got a level six yeah. um so that's somebody who's going to be teaching and assessing yeah yeah um, now, uh, some of our centres have got that already. Bearing in mind the decimation that happened to the youth services, it might not be that you've got somebody on hand, but you might need to employ somebody. And we've got some great networks. The National Youth Association's got some great networks that you can join and find out if you can employ people, if you need to bring them in. It's only certain units that need to be delivered by them and they tend to be in the core or mandatory side of things. After that then, we always have a lovely debate about this because some of the other units are kind of topic related. So one of them is a, um, a really, really specialised unit in trauma, ah. which unfortunately a lot of young people do experience. So as you can imagine, it's kind of on that. We don't want necessarily have to have a level six at youth work, but you do have to have some idea of the sector area and some expertise in dealing with this very, very uh, delicate um, and uh, you, there's a safeguarding aspect that goes around everything in youth work, but this is a double safeguarding ring around it. So, so yes, so there are elements of the optional units within both sets of uh, levels of qualifications where you cannot necessarily have to be a level six in that, but you would need to have that expertise to support the learning. And remember those that you're teaching are going to be going out working and interfacing with young people. So we do have to just make sure that those little ducks are in a line, as I like to say, um, and all of this information is inside the qualification guide. Um, and um, if you are not sure, you can always talk with your business development manager, uh, just like Rachel. We've got Rachel and Peter and the lovely Donna has joined the team and they can just talk you through that. Um, 
usually you'll get um, given a quasar, a quality assurance and standards advisor who can then work alongside you regarding that. An internal verification, you'll need to consider that you've got somebody who can make that those decisions as well. So do be careful when you're, you're participating in this, but don't think I haven't got a level six, I can't do this. You will probably know somebody who's got a level six who can support your work to yeah. do that. So don't just back away from it. I think we have to look at it as being this is fantastic news for the youth work sector to support the work um, of the, that they've done for many, many years. And thanks again to the NYA and our colleagues across England and Wales and the expertise that has been brought to this by all of those people uh, to bring you uh, your learners and yourselves a fantastic opportunity for learners in these level two and level three qualifications. Brilliant. Thank you so, so much, Julie. Um, as Julie mentioned earlier, everyone, um, all the information is in the qual guide. I've gone through and I've read it. It makes sense to me, so hopefully it'll make sense to you. But feel free to come and speak to us. Um, you know, we've dealt with a lot, a lot of people who wanted to deliver this qualification, put them in touch with the network, and they're going really, really strong now, which is amazing. So please get in touch with us. We'll be able to speak to you. And um, and that that's it for now. So thank you so much, Julie, and continue to celebrate National Youth Fair Week. Yay! Yeah, enjoy! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye.